My viewpoint is that St. Louis has lots of assets that we don't calculate and that in the 21st century people are going to make decisions about where to live and where to work based on quality of life because work is becoming increasingly portable. And so along with all of the other cultural amenities of this region, certainly greenways and parks and opportunities for recreation enhance the quality of life and really are one of the most tangible assets that this region has in calculating its future. It was really a goal to get routes throughout the city, an, an urban environment, and connect those to many amenities and points of interest. How do you get out and sell the quality of life, the quality of life issues that cause a community or a region to become great? Most often we think of sustainability as simply a matter of somehow curtailing consumption. But sustainability really to me means quality of life. And quality of life can be measured in lots of ways. It's density of housing, it's mass transit, it's air quality, it's the attractive quality of the neighborhoods, it's opportunities for recreation. And Great Rivers Greenway in that sense has made a powerful statement about sustainability. That Dreamway system has really helped preserve that part of nature that we can lose in, in a more urban environment. Parks revitalize communities by, by three things. They, they build economic capital, they promote environmental stewardship, clean air, clean water, uh, and they promote social capital. And social capital is a healthy community, a community that understands each other's values, a community that understands each other's needs and, and benefits of knowing each other. Public open spaces have a very, very special quality because they are public. And while private spaces may be visually and aesthetically pleasing and aesthetically attractive, public spaces are for the people to enjoy. The really big idea this community has is what's called the River Ring. And the River Ring is an interconnected system of 640 miles of 40 greenways throughout the region basically forms this great big ring around the region. It begins to identify itself. It's the sense of place. It's like Boston's uh, emerald necklace. It's like uh, Minneapolis's chain of lakes. It's like Seattle's emerald necklace. It begins to define through a natural resource base a sense of home and a sense of place. Obviously you can't with 640 miles or 40 different greenways connect everybody. So you have to figure out another system to do that, and that's the on-street bike plan called Bike St. Louis, which is a very bicycle and pedestrian friendly way of knowing where you are and knowing where you're going and knowing where you've been, and that's the key of it all. Bike St. Louis is really a, an interconnected system of on-road bike routes. This is an opportunity to, for people to feel a little more comfortable in their communities, get out, ride, and be able to connect to green spaces, to um, economic centers, small collective economic centers, to um, their workplace, and, and feel comfortable and get out more and use, use their bike and, and get also to the greenways. It interconnects to the greenways. That's really critical. The opportunity Great Rivers Greenway has and what they've capitalized on is the fact that St. Louis probably has one of the largest systems of rivers and streams in the country because we have the Missouri and the uh, Mississippi rivers, of course, and all the tributaries. And the value of the work that David's done and Great Rivers Greenway has done is it's brought people back along trails that go along these rivers and streams and really connect them to what made St. Louis St. Louis to begin with, which was our rivers. We are going to have to work together. We can't compete with one another as individual entities. And I think it's an outstanding example of the marvelous things that we can do when we cooperate and when we collaborate. It provides recreational opportunities throughout the three county area that it serves. GRG also provides um, opportunities for people to think outside the box in terms of what they can do with their leisure time. Um, hiking, biking, you know, jogging. You know, anybody can have a vision, but to actually put the system into place to make it happen is extraordinary. As a result of the demonstration trails, ones that we call pilot projects, that it begins to show the community that an interconnected system of greenways, parks, and trails can clearly be 
not only economically beneficial to them, but environmentally beneficial to them. But also, and I think one of the larger issues is how it begins to connect the communities together. People in Webster Groves uh, are excited about their parks. They're excited about working with GRG, and uh, we look forward to the future. We've heard people say, I didn't even know who my community was. I didn't even know who my neighbors were. And now through this process, and it is a process, that we're beginning to connect these communities together, that that becomes the most valuable part. It really helps people kind of, um, you know, connect to nature and, uh, and, and kind of cultivates kind of a sense of stewardship and caring that maybe they've kind of gotten a little bit away from. The Great Rose Greenway uh, is really a metaphor both uh, in, from physical terms but also from a, a more, uh, I, I want to say spiritual term because ultimately what makes community is connectivity and in order for uh, communities to be connected they have to be physically connected and in ways for people to get around but they also, that physical connection can create that sense of community that ties us together and creates a, a common destiny. In so many ways it's pulled people together in their efforts towards uh, parks, recreation, uh, green space and uh, so I, I think that's been very very important and uh, uh, had a very positive impact on the region. It's not only a better quality of life for people who are already living here but it's also one of those assets that will in the end contribute to the economic vitality of the region by attracting people here who want to enjoy, enjoy those amenities. I think a multifaceted approach to these projects is really critical because if it's just a trail project, for example, you don't get the kind of community buy-in to really make it successful. And so I think looking at these projects from both the sort of the physical and the social aspects is what's really made them successful and so sought after throughout um, you know, our community. It's shown to me personally that a community can get behind and rally behind a really good idea, a really big idea, and that really big ideas are really the ones that work. As I look back over the last several years of GRG's existence, I see what I had envisioned early on, a garden community. We have added to the richness of life in St. St. Louis. And I think Great Rivers Greenway and, and David has done an extraordinary job of taking a nascent idea 10 years ago and turning it into a, uh, an extraordinary asset for this overall community. The concept of an interconnected systems of, of greenways, parks, and trails has absolutely added to the graciousness and the beauty of our region. If there is a preeminent question for the 21st century, it really is how are we going to balance uh, people and consumption and space in a way that makes sure that the generations that follow us here have the same opportunities for lives of good quality. And I think that Great Rivers Greenway has provided an outstanding example. It's broadened the conversation and it's expanded the definition of sustainability.